<laughs> wow. <laughs> Hey guys, and a happy Monday morning to your faces! I am terribly sorry that there have been a couple, a few weeks, I think, without uh, the Monday show. I'm really sorry about that. June was really hard for me. If you can imagine half of a month being all Mondays, that's pretty much what happened to my face. Everything went wrong, there's bad thing after bad thing happened, and I got sick and I got injured and I fell over dead for a little while and then I got resurrected and here I am now. So we're gonna try and keep up again and um, see what more uh, Monday is going to actually shove into our faces, unfortunately. Pika Delphin says, you really need to leave the video clips on a little longer. You know what, That's I think that's a valid complaint, perfectly valid. Although I have to tell you that um, every frame of video that I get for these clips, I show them all to you. I, you know, sometimes I wish that they were longer myself, but they're not. I'm not the one who cuts them off or stops recording or quits the video. I, I, just, I play every single frame of the video that I get, you guys get to see. I'm not holding out on you. So if you wish a video was a little bit longer, I probably do too, but that's, that's all I got. That's all the internet gave me. And um, so sorry if there's not more to them, but you guys are getting everything that I see. However, I think that's been bad luck for me. I think that's why Monday is trying to kill me more than it's trying to kill you. It's because I'm doing the show. It's trying to stop me from doing the show. So. I have an idea, and here's my idea this time. I'm gonna be nice to Monday. This time we're gonna be kind to Monday. We're going to find the positives in what Monday is doing because I think if Monday thinks it's doing good things, then maybe it'll stop being Monday. I don't know, but we're gonna give it a try. So, uh, let's take a look at your world. What are you doing? Oh Why is it on my dinner? Why are you making dinner? I was trying to make dinner. Uh, Okay, I have learned from an old boyfriend that I used to have that there are some people in the world that you do not let in the kitchen. You just don't. In my case, if you let my boyfriend in the kitchen, he would come up somehow with just basic spices. He would invent tear gas. I don't I don't know how. I have to go in there with a gas mask and open up all the windows. So there are some people and some people apparently start fires in the kitchen. So some people you just you bar off from the kitchen you don't get to go in there please and and just enjoy the food that we make and just stay out sit on your butt and don't don't set the house on fire please <laughs> why uh, you know i don't know a lot about um construction equipment but there's two things i can tell about this just through observation number one is that thing was pissed and number two is you just gave it a weapon dumbass now that thing's just gonna sling around and just like you know <laughs> rip, just rip somebody's nuts off for it's, it's it's gonna have to be there until it runs out of energy which i don't know how long that's gonna take but please don't lose your nuts in that situation we did nobody nobody wants that Ooh. <laughs> wow <laughs> <laughs> the guy, the guy sitting in that truck going, and it was all yellow. <laughs> I have never, usually yellow is the color of happy, but this is, uh, not today. <laughs> but let's, okay, the positive, the po I forgot, we got to be positive. Yellow is a beautiful color. Thank you, Monday. Got it. Sucks having to say that. Oop. Oh, well, <laughs> have, have you slid yet? See, we're running out of sliding videos, but I I'll tell you, the purpose of sliding is to kill human beings. It's, this is the reason. You see, he had a fish, he had food there, slid right past it, now he's gonna starve. Sliding, it's, it's a form of Monday to starve people, uh, and, but, this is good? If there are less people, then there would be more food for the people who are left? Thank you, Monday? 
I wish I could travel back in time and bring knowledge to the people in the past. So how do we make that electricity? I have no idea. And this is like amusingly true too. I mean, I've done the same thing before. I've thought, hey, I would like to go back in the past and inform these ignorant ancient fuckers about, I don't know what, aspirin. It's like, oh, that headache? Nah, you can get rid of it right away. Okay, how do you make aspirin? Th now what? I mean, I think we all do that. It's like, oh, I wish I could go back in the past and I could teach them how to build cars or... But, but sometimes it's even... I, I, I would love to teach them how to start a fire. Now, how many of you can just start from nothing with no matches and start a fire? We couldn't even do that. So yeah, pretty much the only thing we could do is go back in the past and tell everybody, no, no, we we know how to solve this. We just... I, I can't do it, <laughs> but... But it can be solved, I know that. Oh, 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 ah, ah. Didn't quite make it. That looked, that reminded me of somebody trying to get past Monday at the top of the hill there. That was Tuesday, and he didn't make it. That's why, that's why we have the show. It's because this gets us through Monday, so we can actually get up that hill and make it to Tuesday. That's, that's why we're here right now. <laughs> but what? Oh, come on, it's Bambi. Why are you screaming? Why are you making that noise? What? Dude, it's Bambi. Why are people losing their damn minds over Bambi? It's just Bambi laying there. Why? I mean, and all Bambi wanted was a goddamn haircut. I mean, have you never seen a deer come into a place and just want their hair done? There was nobody there. It's not like there was a line. Come on. Set the deer up, cut its hair, give it a shave, whatever it wants. Problem is, it'll probably just pay you with some kind of stupid animal currency, like n turds or something. What are you doing? There's a stop I can't <laughs> Look at this. I can't it. It's cold. It's all over the place. It doesn't stop. For the love of God, stop snowing! Stop! <laughs> oh boy. Well, it's that's obviously a little bit out of date however all i can say about that clip is that that's that's me that's 100 percent me in the winter especially this last winter just it kept snowing and I, that's that was me roaming around outside just like please god stop doing this to my face oh just why 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 I don't know, you know, I, I surely I know some people out there who spend a lot of time in boats, right? Somebody out there does. Why have none of y'all told me that there are so many numb nut idiots out there floating around on the water? I had no idea how dangerous it was out on the water. Just I, I had not until I started this show. Now, now we know. But thank you, Monday, because it keeps boat insurance companies in business i guess they used to be called jumpalines until your mom bounced on one well if your mom is gonna bounce on <laughs> oh i'm so oh my god that one took me a second i didn't <laughs> i didn't i didn't it took me a minute to understand the joke i i i didn't <laughs> get it until the jumpalines and my brain is going but why, why did they call it Tramp? Oh, your mom, ba oh, oh, oh. Okay, G okay, good one. I mean, corny, but it was a good one. Bro, you know what happened last time, just drive careful, please. <laughs> that, wouldn't, that wouldn't have been so funny if it, if it hadn't if it been for the music. <laughs> Well, I don't, I don't know why uh, our friend there had to have that many drinks in the car, but um, definitely not a good idea. Actually, thank you, Monday, for doing that, because it, it, anybody who drives around with that much crap in their car deserves to have it thrown in their face a little bit. Thank you, honestly. Honestly, thank you, Monday, on that one. Was what? What? Why? 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 Why?
why is why is that funny? I I should not I should not be laughing at that. The, the, there was there there that wasn't a joke or uh, random. Maybe that it was just funny because it was really random. I guess I I thank you Monday for the random. What are the best steak yes. in the world for a hundred dollars? This is what I got. The best steak in the world. Thank you. Mm. This is the good steak. Yes. Wait. Where's, where's the rest? Mm -hmm. You see this? Where's the rest of it? <laughs> That's crazy. Hundred dollar steak. <laughs> That's crazy. Nah, don't do, don't do that. Don't be this guy. Trust me, I've fallen for that before. I've eaten in places like that. The uh, it will just give you, you know, it's a, it's a hundred and twenty dollar meal, and it comes out and it's like this big. It's like three spoonfuls, and it's done, and it costs like you know, a, a weekly paycheck. Don't do that. They're, they, I've had those meals. They are not worth it. They're not that good. I mean, you pay that much for a little bite of steak. That thing better jump out of that little dish and give you a blowjob right then and there because that's. Uh, don't do that. Go to some southern restaurant, give them like, you know, $40, and they will pile, they'll give you a mountain of food that'll be just as good, I swear to God. If just, I mean, anybody gives me like a little chunk of steak like that for $100, they're gonna get smacked in the face. Patreon.com slash Ranting Griffin, and no, you don't have to give me $100. I'm not going to say you, uh, you can't. You could if you wanted to, and I would very much appreciate it. But, I mean, you also could just give me, like, you know, $5 or, or let's make it a special one this time. How about four? Four dollar. I'll know if, if, so, if y'all sign up and it's like four dollars. I know you got it from this video. And it helps me put sandwiches on my plate so I can actually be here for you on the Mondays that don't wreck me and make me sick and broken and blah. And I can talk to you and we can chill out and we can laugh over these Monday videos together. It really, really helps me out and I would appreciate it very, very much. And now, back to me. Winston? Oh no. Please, we're poor. Please, we have to buy you food. <laughs> Alright, well, the dog destruction season is, it's taking on a new role now. Looks like the dogs are going for economic destruction. They're gonna eat all the money and then we don't have nothing else to, like, pay rent and buy anything with, and so we just have to go out on the street and starve. That's what it is! And then we die, and then the dogs eat us! And then they win! Well, we can't, we can't have that, but... But, thank you, Monday, for our new doggy overlords. Replace the middle board of your picnic table with a rain gutter. Instant drink cooler. You know, I am tired. I am absolutely sick of people not recognizing the genius of redneck technology. I mean, it just is beautiful sometimes. I mean, probably a lot of you have got like an old rain gutter like laying in your yard somewhere. Just, hey, cut it in half, stick it on your pool table. Redneck technology right there. I'm just, nothing wrong with this. That's great. Red, you, redneck technology, five stars out of five. <laughs> That's why it's called a bowl haircut, dude. <laughs> hell yeah. No, no, it's that's not. There's nothing hell yeah about that. Okay, you're you are not Mo. You are not a three stooge. Okay, you're no. I really hope that guy just did that because he just planned on shaving his head anyway and he just wanted to cut it in some weird cut just to see what it looked like before he got rid of it all. That that would be okay. Five, three different like action. One, catching the dog up to this and look like the dog and then it makes it look like underwear. <laughs> Oh my god. We often get like glimpses of Monday, little bits of Monday's power here and there, but we don't often get a clip that is just pure Monday. It's like, I'm gonna show you how to do this, break. Oh, also you don't need a camera, boom. That that was 100% Monday. And, but she did not deserve to have a camera or a yo-yo or whatever. She didn't deserve to have that, so thank you, Monday. This is just torturous at this point. Don't do it. Don't be this stupid. 
I mean, at first it's funny. At first you laugh at it. You're like, oh, ha, ha. It's, and then after a while, you're like, why? why? Why do people not realize anymore that glass breaks? Why is that? Why did? Why was that not taught to people anymore? I don't know. I guess it's still funny in a way. And, and, uh, but, and thank you, Monday, for taking a few more dollar bills out of that guy's stupid wallet. All right. Made some, got cheese. Looks good. <laughs> Tastes good too. Help wanted, help baling hay this summer, stacking hay on wagons and unloading in barn. It's hot, dusty, and a lot of work. If you can't keep up with 12 year old Amish kids, don't waste your time. Most millennials will struggle. Contact blah blah. Oof. Well, you know, okay, I'm not I'm not coming down on millennials with this, but because this would be uh, like hard on almost any generation. It's like, yeah, oh, millennials will struggle. I would have struggled with this. I remember my dad used to do work like this every now and then, and even his generation struggled with. He came back from like Vietnam and couldn't do this. So yeah, most people can't do that. And you know, a day of work like that, you know what, Amish people, you can keep it. Just have fun with that. Here's Jaya climbing the wall. Hey Jaya, get on up that wall, Jaya. We don't have the time. <laughs> <laughs> Jaya didn't get very far up the wall. Uh, um, mm. Listen, Jaya, you watching the show? I know that you are. Listen, Jaya, sometimes we can't, all, not all of us can climb up walls. I mean, it's just a fact. Some of us just can't climb up walls, but it's okay because if you can't climb up walls, that means there's something else that you're good at doing. I would recommend don't try to climb any more walls and do that other thing that you're good at. <laughs> Oh, damn! Oh, boy. You know, I don't I don't know what language that was they were speaking, but I, I already know the woman in the car sitting next to him was saying back up. I know. I know that's what she was doing. That is a universal thing in an accident. She's going to become the backseat driver and say the obvious, as in, get the hell out of here. Thank you very much. But also, yeah, I mean, thank you Monday, because that was just the earth coming to give them a hug because it loves them oh my god <laughs> oh what are you doing what are we in russia uh, well, wherever that was, it sounded Russian, I don't know. But it's interesting to know that even in Russia, they still have those cheap as hell flimsy plastic bags that booze goes into and you shake it around and it drops it. Same thing here in the US, by the way. Here he comes, marching down the street. But, oh, ow, ow, ow. Oh. oh, gravity just ain't stopping today, is it? Man, oh wow. You ever see one of those tough guys that's like knock somebody down and go, get up, get it. Gravity was doing that. It's like, bam, bam, get up, get up. I'm not done with you. However, those are dangerous vehicles. And uh, thank you Monday for trashing that vehicle and keeping us all safe. And now that we are done with Monday, now you are all safe because we've gone through the Monday. We've seen what it can do. And we've even thanked it this time. We've thanked Monday. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we're gonna find out. So now all you have to do is just look past Monday and don't look it in the eyes. Remember, put on the blinders and just look towards Tuesday. Be the, just gotta get through today. Be the best you that you can be today. And then the rest of the week is a breeze, right? You'll get right through it. So that was a look at your world. Thank you guys for being uh, patient with me this last couple of weeks. Uh, and honestly, it has been really hard. I mean, it, if you hadn't heard yet, uh, Noodle died. Uh, we, I, had, I also had to, uh, I had, you know, problems with my arthritis and I got sick for a couple of days and I, it, and a lot of things happened. Oh, and there's also, I mean, it wasn't all bad because I also have a, uh, a new PC and I've been setting that up as well. So just so many things. I mean, a lot of them were bad. Some of them were good, but they've been keeping me away from you a little bit and I hate that. So, um, sorry for the, uh, the, absence of a few videos here and there 
And, uh, but I'm back. I'm back on board. It's good to see you guys again. And, um, yep, you're gonna, you're gonna see my normal videos now. So, let's get to the weekend. Let's have a good time getting there. And, guys, I will see you all again very soon.